Streaming live from the beautiful city of Hollywood, Florida, USA. This is SoFloRadio.com. SoFloRadio.com presents The Real Estate King of South Florida with your host, Philip Simonetta, PA. Founder of the Simonetta Group of Charles Ruttenberg Realty and the Real Estate King Coaching and Consultant Group, specializing in introducing structure, authenticity, and humanity into the real estate world. Not to mention a splash of wild and crazy. We bring you your host, Philip Simonetta, PA. So as we were so hot and we blew a fuse, uh, we were talking about what goes into the nature of a deal that a, a realtor brings in to help the consumer and all that goes in. We start off with the reason we're in business, which is title searches and title work. And we, at the end of the transaction, we're going to give the client a title policy for their purchase of that home. But in the transaction, there's also contract. There's also other expectations. Quick question on that. What does a title pol- policy consist of? So... When you first, uh, when we first order title, and within a certain amount of time per contract and per customer service in our office, we have to give you what's called a title commitment, and that is we send out the re- the search work to our underwriter who reviews all of the underlying documents to ensure that they're looking for the the correct history of title and to make sure about mortgage satisfactions if someone has a payoff for their mortgage, anything that comes up, and it's called a search package, and then that. The search package is put together by examiners at the underwriter and then is sent to us as in the form of a title commitment. Basically, we're committing to you that these things are true and accurate, and we're going to resolve anything that may be showing up on the title commitment prior to closing. We have to order a payoff for a mortgage if there is... Um, some sort of lien or judgment against a person that may have the same name, but it's not you. It could have another Phil Simonetta, but it's not you. We have to research that and, yeah. and to ensure that if there is a judgment from the IRS that has a similar name, we have to do our due diligence in order to help clear that to protect the what? seller and yeah. also to protect the new buyer. Got and it. so once we do what's on the title commitment, which are called the requirements, we go ahead and move forward to closing in addition to the other things that we have to do. We have to deal with the lender, or if it's cash, we don't deal with the lender. But there might be other some contractual things that we have to order as well. Um, and, so, and so at the end of the transaction, to jump forward, at the end of the transaction, in addition to getting keys, in addition to realtors getting paid, in addition to the seller getting their proceeds, sure. you're going to get from our office, within a month of closing, you're going to get a title policy. It's an underwritten... Um, insurance policy kind of looks like it has a binder or has a serial number. It's um, it's documented with that underwriter, major underwriters that we use in the state of Florida. That's the and, guarantee. And right? that's the guarantee. guarantee. That's sure. the actual title policy. The okay. good news is that um, technology has brought us forward to the extent to where there used to be a time where it was a heavy binder and it was a raised seal on the on this on the serial number and sure. people kept it in the box and they wanted to make sure they had it and it's still the case but with technology you know as long as you have a copy of it get it emailed and, and you get it emailed and you, we send out originals and mail but if you lost it i don't want people to think there isn't a way to obtain it again yeah no, sure. um even with deeds people in south florida if they don't know you know, electronic recording and original deeds. Well, people always wanted to save the original deed that with the stamps that sure. were recorded on the deed. Well, you know, it's a public record state. So you could close with me at 1 o'clock. And if, depending on what our day is, by that afternoon or that morning, we could have electronically recorded your deed and ownership of that property in the That's county. Good. Sure. And so you, we will, you will get post-closing from our office the original recorded deed, the original title policy, and we will send it to you so that for safekeeping. The good news is if for some reason that you lost it, we um, electronic the age of electronics is great, and you can always get a copy from us as well. And it's probably yeah. best to have a PDF copy of all those documents anyway just for safekeeping. Sure. But the deed itself, the deed, is a public record, and anyone can review that document. 
Got so it. that title policy then stays with you with the transaction. So remember, if you sell within the next three years and you're going to pay for title insurance again, you're going to get a discount on your owner's title policy. If you refinance yeah. your property and you have that title policy, it's going to do two things. It's going to provide you a discount on the new um, lender's policy that you're going to get for the mor- for the mortgage company. And it's also going to hit speed up having to review title again because we're going to start from that policy forward rather than go going back beyond the policy being that you have it. So when we open a new file, we like to always ask our sellers, do you have a copy of your title policy? Because it's always prudent to start with a copy of your title policy when you open a new order moving forward. So those are in the nutshell for everybody going, "Ah, I didn't know what the heck this was about. And now they can leave tonight knowing, okay, makes sense. It makes sense. You know, these are the things that we do. What what do you think? What do you think in in title? What do you think the biggest misconception is? I think some are- of the biggest misconception is is uh, what well, should have been done right to begin with. Why do we need insurance for it? Right. And and I think that it, yeah, in a perfect world, it probably should have been done right. Right. But somebody's got to make sure that it was done right. And what about the interim? <laughs> and, and, in between, right, right? You have to make sure that it's been done right, and so you need those professionals to be able to do their due diligence to protect you to find that out. Yeah. And also with the changes. In the mortgage industry, there's, um, well, the banks are going to be doing this. The banks are going to be doing that. The banks are overwhelmed right now. Yeah, I get it. The banks, the quality lenders, those that you've had on your show and other quality lenders in the community. They're good. They're good. They're great, but they have enough to do in their niche. Yeah, they have enough to do in their niche, so they right. d- they don't they just need to do what they do that they're already doing well and leave the other stuff up to us. Got it. And and so that our industry we believe is strong in South Florida. We believe our office is strong and growing in South Florida. Sure. Our numbers are indicative of that. You guys just grew. You guys just opened a new we office. We did. Yeah? We did yeah. open a brand new office, and uh, awesome. it was our uh, owner Kevin Thatcher. Um, his hard work over the last thirteen years with the staff before me and the staff that's currently with me yeah. that got him to that stage. So he started off with three deals a month, and now we're you know trending around 100 deals a month. That's, amazing. That's and, awesome. Man. And it's but it's but, but it's slow and steady. Nothing overnight. Slow I, and steady. I, I do the same the thing. I do the same thing. And you know we had a little conversation earlier where you know my bottom line is I just my whole goal in this business and in anything I do is I just want to leave people better off after they know me. Well, and, and that's a great example. And that's it. Because Kevin's motto is we go in the deal with you, we come out of the deal with you, right. and we hold your hand through the deal. And you build a relationship, and, 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 and you, can, you continue on more deals. And when you treat people that way, it doesn't matter. I, I don't care. Like I told you, any walk of life, wherever they come from, whatever they do, my my motive, my motivation is leaving them better off than when I met them, no matter what. And then I'm better off for it. Well, I'm better off tonight. I mean, yeah. I'm getting three cheesesteaks, <laughs> you know, and I didn't right? even know you could cook like this. So, no, this I is mean, nothing, man. Right. So this is, this is it. And and when you come to our office, you know, you're a realtor that brings us business, right? So you and your team, we value your um, business because you don't have to use us. You can go anywhere you want. Sure. There are a lot of people that want your business and they're going to tell you a lot of things to get your business yeah. but at the end of the day are they going to remain consistent with the service that you're expecting because you are a team you are part of our team we are part of your team it's a concierge service yeah. you told me earlier you just want to email um jackie in our office for instance and say here you go and leave it alone you don't really want to have to follow up and babysit what you believe she should be doing for you yeah oh no absolutely and, and you know and when the, i mean don't get me wrong there's follow up and there's yeah, keeping yeah. truck and, and there's touching but base. you're expecting a certain level of a professionalism level of service and needed. service Sure. that you're needing and so we got we spoke earlier about w- other than title work what else goes into the transaction because there are certain things that you also have to be careful and cover in order to protect the consumer respond to the contract appropriately get um and and there are sometimes wishes that people have for instance if you pay cash um and you buy a home uh, survey the question of a survey comes up well we are in title work we can only ensure what we can see mm-hmm. so of public record when we do searches we can only ensure what we see we don't go to a property and we don't see the property and we also when you go to a property you can't always see everything that pertains to that property you can't okay. see where lines are you can't see where easements start you can't always see where the fence line sits if it's in your property or not so an example of other things that we order and do for our clients is we order a survey. Now, for most lenders' files, most mortgage files, you typically have to have a survey in order to perform certain things that the lender needs. Paying cash for a property, it's optional. It's always recommended. It's always talked about. 
And in fact, we make you sign a document at the end that if you didn't want one, we're, you're signing basically an acknowledgement that you didn't get one. And there is part of the title commitment, which we can't remove. Part of the title policy, we can't remove a survey exception. And what that says is we can only ensure what we see. So if your pool yeah. happened to be in an easement or happened to be outside of your property and we couldn't see it because we didn't have a survey, we're not going to be held responsible for it going forward. So there are times when, especially cash buyers, investor buyers that sure. maybe are holding the property, they're not flipping the property, there are times when people need to rethink the necessity and the, and the reason for having a survey. Just for example, there are municipal lien search matters that come up that are spoken about in all the contracts in South Florida that have to be dealt with, with permits and code violations. Again, Ooh. not everything is just just title related, but we're not just doing title work. Every Got contract it. does not just do a title policy. Got you it. have other factors that you have to um, rise to the occasion for your clients. What oh, you need another plate? Knife. Need another? Need another? <laughs> he needs a knife. The He's knife. okay. <laughs> So the fun part of it is the more you develop the relationships, the more you're fed. Right? You get. <laughs> now we're on to our third meal. Um, so that's fun. You get to grow the business and grow the relationship and keep people. Uh, keep your keep your realtors happy, which refers your business, and keep your consumers happy. We have plenty of business from Thank repeat you. buyers who are refinancing, who have did work with us two years ago and were already reselling their property because they're relocating or whatever. So it may come in, the business may come in from a realtor or a lender that we work with a lot, but it may continue because of how they're treated when they're in. And we that. don't cook as well as you do, but hopefully we do other things to meet their expectations. Does it? This is beautiful, by the way. I would just like, I want to like lick that grill. Right. You know, could I have the scrapings over there? You might blow that fuse the, again, though. I might. It'll be you worth it. Lick that grill. <laughs> now this one is what American cheese. This one is American. So I'm we had to eat on camera. Here, I'll take the scrapings there. I you want, want the scrapings. I seriously want the scrapings. And a f and a fork. <laughs> Do we have any forks in here? There, there are in the magical cup over there. There's uh, probably some solid forks even. If not, uh, then there'll be... Um, I should probably play some f fork music. Thank you. Got it. Fork and a knife. This, is, uh, this so fork is compliments of, uh, of Steve Gordon from Monday's show. Nice. CEO manship. His wife sent me food some stuff. Uh, <laughs> he, he, he shouted out to you, so uh, Monday, noon nice, to one. Man. You know, awesome. Right. We'll check it out. It sounds good. CEO manship. Thank you. This is awesome, man. Jeez, wonderful. This is pretty good. That, that's my favorite. Is it? Of all of them, yeah. Now, there is one mm. that they do in Philly. Yeah. It's called a heart attack. It's all three. Oh. So they it actually make like a cheese thing. Like all attack. three, you have the, the cheese Whiz, the provolone, and the, um, right. and the American. And then a diet soda with it. And then, yeah, Diet Coke. Gotcha. <laughs> but um, that's right. three cheese steaks, guys. So. That's wonderful. Yeah. I saw... There's not, nothing bad here? Yeah. Nope. I'm but voting I'm, for provolone. I'm still provolone. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm going to tell That's, everyone. It's nice. not a casual decision. You know, all my life I've been eating the cheeses <laughs> and um, and going and getting subs and things like that. And uh, and yeah, I just like provolone as a, nice. as a cheese. I would agree. Perfect. And so, nice. tell, so, Phil, what do you need? What do you need when you're dealing out, when you're you're bringing in your clients? What do you look for? In, in a company? In a company. And in this okay. case, a title company with Absolutely. a great staff. I, I dedicate 100% of what I do you like that? for I'm my dead. clients. Absolutely. I dedicate 100%. Um, and I'm looking for the same. It's it, and, and when I'm dealing with any company... I expect back what I give. Okay. I go in without. Well, I, I don't even go in with expectations. I just give. Right. And I, and you know, you you get what you give. You should be returned. And I'll tell you, ninety percent of the time, you don't. There's nowhere near what you give. Hey, for me. Right. So I want someone who's going to be responsible. I want someone who's going to be truthful, authentic, straightforward, and ownership of and the, take ownership mm -hmm. of what's happening. And if there is an issue, let's discuss that issue. Correct. No issue is unfix. I mean, there are things there, that are unfixable, but very little in life. Whenever there's an issue, right. if you just face it, because you're going to face it sooner or later, you might face it three weeks from Absolutely. now with more aggravation. If there's an issue, just put it on the table, decide what it is, and fix it. Correct. And I think, and that's it. I think part of our philosophy in the mm -hmm. office is um, things are going to come up. Something is going to yeah, come life. up. Life, life comes it's, up. But it's how you resolve the matter that's sometimes more important. 
than the actual, you know, the the, yeah. the issue that came up. Yeah. And in the resolution, did you own it? Yeah. Did you resolve it? Yeah. Did you make everyone feel comfortable? Did you did you make it work and get them to the closing table? It, listen, as long as you're authentic about it. You know, Absolutely. Look, if something if you're in, if you're out of you know integrity with it, that's right. where you everything goes downhill. You didn't intentionally blow a fuse here. No, I mean, that was you know you were just doing your job. <laughs> and what and we do, we still it's make an cheese hazard. You're hot, you're right, you're just hot like that, and you did it. <laughs> we I mean, do it. And you, and in the meantime, you turned out at, even with all that you know that happened yeah, behind yeah, yeah. the scenes. Yeah. Look at the beautiful meal you prepared. We that's never it. made cheese steak here before. So. The, right. <laughs> this is awesome. First time first for everything. Right. So awesome. At at our office. Um, and in title work in general, there are a lot of great professionals. There are probably yeah. a lot of more, uh, a lot more formal offices than ours. You know, I, I think that part of our strength is that we have the ability to ebb and flow with different clientele, different languages, different age groups, different price points. We don't. Our um, average price point in our office is not super high. I mean, we we deal with uh, we deal with the everyday consumer. We deal Got with it. the everyday investor. We deal with people that flip properties and are looking to make small margins, but they're dealing in volume. We sure. look for people. People that are buying, you know, maybe a, a condo that may be under hundred thousand dollars, but they're they've worked their whole life to save that money to do that. So we take it really seriously. Uh, in addition to the fact that most people don't have the option to to get it wrong, right? This is the biggest thing they've ever done. You know, I, I, I respect that. You know, one one thing that I, I take pride in and what I do is I, I don't care if it's a fifty thousand dollar condo or a two million dollar absolutely track of land being developed. That customer or the client selling it gets 100% Same of, of what I do. Right. And um, that's just this is how I roll. It's just right. how I operate because you don't know. And I'll give you a perfect example why. We're closing a, a, on a deal this week. Actually, next week. It was a $50,000 condo that we listed. And it was a nightmare. It was a HOA that had a credit score, minimum credit score of like over 660. Mm-hmm. And you can rent them, but, but to buy you could. But you still them. had to have no to buy. You had to six. Had to have that to to rent it. You have to have that. The renter has to have that. Right. Not to mention a thirty thousand dollar year income, and it's a fifty five and older community. Okay. So, very particular property. So, mm -hmm. you know who wants to deal with something like that? You're not making much money. Mm -hmm. So, but I treat that deal the same way as another one. Now, the same owners of that property just listed over seven million dollars worth of property with me that are selling. I didn't know they had that. Exactly. So by them seeing the value that I gave them, I treated them just as if I had ten million in property. Sure. They came back and there's also much more property that they're going to be selling in the recent the next coming years right. that they own all over the state. And just because of the way I dealt with them, who's going to get that? Exactly. And and the funny yeah. thing from a title perspective, so they, they know who they're going to use because you treated them the same. You treated them with the same service that you would treat anybody. Anybody. With a period at the end of the sentence. Yep. But the, the funny thing is from a title perspective, which are our harder deals? Not the $2 million oh, cash lot. The $50,000 condo. It's the $50,000 <laughs> condo because of all of, because especially if it sat for like 20, 30 years. And it had all those transactions. And it had, and, uh, or it didn't. Or it, it, right. Sometimes it's worse if it, something happened from 25 years ago now that what? no one caught because for 25 years it never conveyed. And those, and then, people, those people are gone. And There's those no way. people are gone. Yeah. And then, or you're dealing with the heirs. You're dealing with the children. Brothers and sisters don't, you know, siblings don't speak to each other. Sure. They'd, or they, once <clears> they do, they want some uh, uh, compensation for being involved in the transaction or you have the wonderful homeowners association um that sometimes you know Gestapo. take their job really <laughs> seriously and they want to protect of course the other residents there and i get it but you know they're denying people um to move in for various different reasons and now the seller you know you do all this work you get everything ready you order a stop a letter to tell hey is anything past due what's uh, the move in charge of this capital contribution can you, can you do me a favor yes can you explain exactly what an estoppel letter is sure so it's, people because people hear it all the time right. i just ran into one and just a couple <laughs> yeah, months ago nice? here the estoppel letter yeah. i mean you know i didn't read it oh, okay no. gotcha <laughs> so estoppel letter in general is a is a form that is completed indicating how much is owed um <clears throat> in in any kind of maintenance or dues or or, or fees so estoppel letter the word estoppel letter is not just for homeowners association but it's a form that indicates the um <laughs> And so 
on that form, if you live in a homeowner association or a condo, they're going to say, hey, it costs this much to live Some here, more, monthly, quarterly, the yearly. I just mixed all the meat together. I'm really, I'm that's sorry, all right. That's all right. Listen, that. it's food. That could always be interrupted. No, just, food. That's, <laughs> that's really awesome. And so it's going to indicate how much it costs to live there. Right. If that seller who's selling the property is past due, if there are any insurance issues and the insurance company that insures that homeowners association, mm -hmm. and what happens if there are violations? What happens if there's a pending lawsuit? So here you are in a 55 and older community with person perhaps of modest means moving in, and somebody slipped and fell and died at the um, and at the clubhouse, jeez, right? Jeez, man, you're really going all in. Well, but I'm just saying. And so there's a pending lawsuit from that family. So if that estoppel letter is completed properly, that can affect you. your buyer may say, wait a second, that means there could potentially be, if they lose this lawsuit and they don't have enough insurance, it could be sure. potential assessment down the road. So sure. a good buyer's agent like you might say, let me see the estoppel on every deal that comes in too. Make sure there's no pending matters that haven't been disclosed to me. And we look for those. We'll bring them to your attention. Sure. Um, and that's a rare instance. I'm not saying that it's an everyday occurrence. It really isn't. But it can happen. But it can happen. And, and, we, and we do have one right now that there is a pending lawsuit of that nature and the buyer may or may not choose to move forward. But we wouldn't know until we pro were provided the information. Wow. So on every file and the estoppel letters in in South Florida, if you want to, it, coupled with the title work that we do, estoppel letters in South Florida to order are typically a seller charge for the most part, unless negotiated otherwise. Who provides them? And the homeowners association, mm. the management company, the board of directors, whoever it is that's, uh, depending on how big or small that area is, the condo or homeowner association. Sure. But more importantly, how much do they cost? Right. They're, they're hundreds and hundreds of dollars for this form. And sometimes is, if, that, is that just because of a profit that they want to make? Well, I, I, I'm not versed enough to say why it is or isn't, but I uh, do know that there are plenty of realtors in town looking to go to Tallahassee to see if they can control some of the charges that are charged for them. Um, what about should. the what about the conversations about the areas like where I live that have one or two or three associations, and you need to stop a letter from each one? So, that, that's amazing. I, I never understood that. Yeah. Why? With and the every and, and and sometimes you know. They're not. You're getting a letter from one of the sub associations that doesn't even get paid directly to say it's not behind and say it's not in arrears. And they don't even. But they don't even get the payment get directly. Paid. So right. if you pay two seventy to the master, the sub might get twenty seven dollars of that. But you never write a check for twenty seven dollars to them directly. You pay two seventy, and then and they do it inside. Sure. But you still have to order two estoppel letters. So it's just a get. It's a, it's a, um, regardless a of, of what it is, yeah. this is what we do. You wanted. I know what you do. I yeah. know that you market. You farm. You go out there. Yeah. You you're in the hot sun. Your staff's in the hot sun, showing properties. You remember, realtors are not realtors anymore. They're nope. just therapists that sell property <laughs> well, because you have to know well, all the philosophy and yeah. all the psychology about what makes that buyer tick. You know, the biggest challenge, honestly, the biggest mm -hmm. challenge on my end is the clients. No more. Well, the digital with age. the digital age yeah. with the internet with yeah. they they know about the properties. Great, and, and they know what they're looking and at. they know exactly what they're looking at. And they don't always know what we're doing, but they no. do know what you're. Some of what they you're don't know doing. our process and what our value is, but they right. know that they can go on a site and look and know everything about that property. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. It's impossible for me to know everything about every right. property, but the ones they're looking at, they know everything about. Right, you know. And it's funny because there's some things that I do that other that other people don't do. There's services like I'll do criminal checks, I'll do like crime reports in the area. Um, I do, um, you know, I have a 60 page seller's report on the property. I mean, trends that are talking about schools and how many how many children right. under 16 or under 18, or 25 to 30, and 31 to 40. Who's in the area? What type of jobs they have? Blue collar, white collar, you know. Um, you go all out. I give a report to every client for every home we look at. And I do that because the technology out there that we're up against it requires you to step requires up. that. And, and I'll tell you right now, 90% of realtors do not do that. No. You know, and why. I don't even say I'm a real, I, I say I'm in real estate. Right. Because realtors have this, have this aura about them, you know, and, and I say it jokingly, you know, they wear flip flops and shorts and they run around and, you know, they may show up, they may <laughs> show up and I joke about it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but they, it's but they, funny because it's they don't, true. <laughs> you know, so many times I get, I, I would show property, right? I'll, I'll schedule a showing, <clears throat> and then I get there, and the the realtor never set the super code or right. or sent me the code, and I call them, and they have no idea what they're talking about. I, I've scheduled properties five days in advance for people out of town, 
And I just don't get it. Like, I don't get, and then it's just, it's, it's, it's amazing how, you know, one set of people, you know, I, I would say one out of 10, like, blow me away because I'm like, wow, finally, it's refreshing right. to have somebody you're dealing with on a level. Then every other time, you're doing their work to cover them. Okay. To make, to keep them, you know, going and keep, you know, to, to make the deal close, you're right. doing the other side of the deal. But isn't that great? What sets you apart? I mean, not every oh, not every person in real estate, as you put it, yeah. has a cooking show, has their own office, has yeah. people yeah. come on to educate the community, has yeah. these myriad relationships with lenders and other realtors in the sure. community, other investors, commercial sure. real estate, restaurant, sure. regentrification of the neighborhood, like you like to do. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so, although we're not that fancy at our office, it's not even we, fancy. You know, it's it's passion. It's uh, like you know, correct. listen, I love but, to become better. It's, it's not even right. It's, I just don't want to exist, and we and like I want to more play tomorrow. I'm better. Tennis players, right? right? Exactly. So that's I what we do. I want to improve. We, when you come to our office, it, it, we're not going to be. Um, our office is definitely not a suit and tie office, yeah. but we're real. We're yeah. we're there. We're available. I get we're it. thinking out of the box. We're thinking how are we going to better? Dude, the do office? you ever wear flip flops? I never to work do. And never. shorts. Shorts. <laughs> never. You don't want to see these legs and shorts. It's not not my best. Well, while I'm asking you questions, <laughs> how many languages do they speak at your multilingual office? <clears throat> Let's see. I speak. Uh, a little English, yeah, a little Spanish, <laughs> doing good, Portuguese, really, French. Yeah. Wow, that's you personally, person. you personally speak? <clears throat> I do. Yeah. Oh wow, okay. But I can curse in a few more. But I what can't about do the what about some German? Nine, nine. No. What about uh, Yiddish? Abyssal. Oh okay. Yeah, I'm yeah. gazutin puppet right now. Yeah, How about you? you? Yeah. yeah. Okay, me too. Oh, who? Yeah. Where? Right. I mean, I was. <laughs> we just cursed at you. I was. I was polishing <laughs> all day long, and now. <laughs> I'm, now I'm gazutin. My mother's being happy right now. You hear yeah. this, ma? Yeah. Because right. we here at SoFloRadio.com, we're also multilingual. Lingual. 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 Also a little bit of English. Right, right. Uh, but, uh, but some Spanish, uh, okay. Yiddish. We're very big on Yiddish. And, uh, and sign language. Sign language. You mentioned that, sign language well, sign, earlier. Well, sign language is like, because we blew it. We, we, we appreciate the what time. you do and your mindset. Yeah. And so Thank we you, appreciate man. this opportunity. We know you yeah. do your thankful sure. Thanksgiving. Yeah. So on behalf actually, of, yeah. Yeah, on behalf coming up. of, um, Independence title. We're yeah. going to be giving you a hundred fifty dollar donation towards oh, wow, that man. coming thank up, you. which is just wow. around the corner. That means so, a lot. Thank and, you so much, man. We thank you, and wow, we, we I appreciate, really appreciate that. It. We are um, Kevin is uh, works directly with uh, LifeNet, which is okay. uh, uh, for the homeless. Um, community and providing food and sure, shelter and sure. stuff. We are um, like-minded as you or a drop-off point for kids in distress for That's toys awesome. for awesome, the holidays. Man. So if anybody has any oh, toys. Oh, for toys. Yes. I thought I could drop the kids off. You could. There. We give them a toy and then we give them back to you. I find kids in distress all the time. Yes. <laughs> Actually, they're not in distress I when I this, find them. Right. But then right. eventually they they are <laughs> distressed and I, I need to drop them off somewhere. Right. Right. So, so that, you, I can, you can properly <laughs> drop the child off and we will safely <laughs> take them to... Good. To the pol- They'll tell you. And, take care of them. and we'll give them a toy. While this they're guy is distressing right. me. Right. That's awesome, man. So I appreciate that, man. That's really that's absolutely. huge. Thank you. Thank we'll you. get it to you as soon as I finish oh, I'm not the cheesesteak. Whichever. That's right. fine. That's fine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> man. The never-ending cheesesteak. When are you, are you going to be done with cheesesteak? Cheese like, I'm going to put this in my <laughs> weekly notes at the office. But if you cheese. use us, you get cheesesteak. Yes. <laughs> coupons. It's called a little right. coupon. Immediately. And then we can do what we could do, bring this show on the road. So the other, the other thing, so the other thing radio. I'm thinking, I want to start something called a wine down Wednesday. Wine down Wednesday, like wine, W I N E. Yes, I get down it. Wednesday, and maybe the third Wednesday of the month, maybe starting in November. We'll be there, and and just having an event where you know free wine tastings. Great, because you know just buy some wine. Have some hors d'oeuvres, cook up some things, have you know some just walk around. You know, professionals in the community can meet and, and just have it at the office. Have people. some music. I mean, you got to understand, we have across the street from us is a, is a blues bar. Right. Up the street from us is another rock bar. Right. Um, there's wine bars. We're right on Thirty Third Street. Let's right get a budget Lauderdale. for some entertainment. I know some and, great um, singers. Absolutely, absolutely, and and I I mean it's just a great place to be. The beach is right across the street, um, across A One A, and the whole community in that area. Has just it risen. I mean, there's so much coming. There's new restaurants opening, right? Um, and it's just it's just really an amazing spot, awesome. to be. And I really want to network, and I want to bring people there to influence the community there. So that's that's something else I'm working on as well. As well, we we'll speak. be there to support it. Cool. Yeah, that's man. Awesome. I'll I'll that's be out awesome. in front with a sandwich board. 
perfect. No, not the advertising <laughs> kind, just a board for right. you to put the sandwiches on. Views, views, thinking something else. Blow, I will, I'll advertise for food. Right. <laughs> and I'll work for food, so we're nice. good. I'll cool. schlep up and down the road with the sandwich board. And I'll eat. Yeah. Awesome. And yeah. we'll teach people how to awesome. do it safely in the title business. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, you know, it means a lot that, you know, you guys, you know, be, to be involved with that. Thank you. You know, it's nice to have other, you know, equal people that see a value and want to be part of something that, that you build. Well, and our, really the huge. owner of our company is really a firm huge. believer in that. Yeah. Um, he's, he's uh, um, in fact... Within the title industry, yeah. he was uh, in October in a, um, a magazine for his philanthropic work um, yeah, amongst awesome. title com- professionals in the whole country. Yeah, so it, it's that's a awesome. Big, it's a big deal. You know, one one of the things I truly, truly believe in in my life, you know, you know, in life, you know, you have goals and you have things you have to reach, and a lot of times you have you know incentives to get there, and sometimes people place it on finance, on money, sometimes people place the incentive on. You know, um, you know, looking good and making an impression. And like I said earlier, I truly base everything I do on just improving. Great. Just to make the world better, just to make people's relationships better, connect people. You know, there's never ever an incentive or, a, a, or another reason that I use than that. And my success in business and life has come from that. It shows. It truly comes from contributing and coming from contribution. And just laying it out. Don't get me wrong. There are people that take advantage, and there are people that you know. There's always that. But you just when can't you have the right that. when you have the right vibe and the right people, th- those people don't even come around. Correct. Because they just don't feel comfortable. But you always have that. But that's just part of the part of the the, na- the nature of it. But I even try to help them because you know down the line they're going to realize somewhere. And and you, as long as you do what you do, and that's. You know, that's one step at a time, you and that's it. Do. Yeah, who does that? That's uh, that's the Jackson, Michael Jackson's brother. Is is it? Isn't it Tito or one of them? Come on, I, I, you're which Jackson? Guy. It's a Jackson. Well, there is a Jackson that does a song. Why did you do what you do? He did. Why don't you do what you? Do what you yeah, yeah, Jermaine. Yeah. Jermaine. That's Jermaine it. Jackson. That's it. That's it. It was one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's because yeah, good man, good, good memory. Listen, there's a Facebook could, post somewhere that, that if I just break out into song and you can't stand it, it's, we can't be friends because I could just break out into song. At any that's time. funny, <laughs> but that's it, man. I mean, Are we still on the air. Yeah, I think we're it's just amazing. On. We're just wow. about we're just about to finish up, and um, I just want to thank everybody for for uh, watching mm. or listening. I'm gonna let Jermaine and, Jackson um, take us out. I think you got right, Jermaine. Jermaine. Oh right, <laughs> at my finger. He doesn't get he doesn't get some cheese stick, though. <laughs> Thanks no. again for the That's opportunity. That's great. Your heart out, Jermaine. You're welcome, we appreciate guys. it. And I just want to tell everybody thank you again, and we will talk to you again next week. This is Philip Simonetta, the radio, uh, real estate king of South Florida, and I'm coming from SoFloRadio.com. Thank you, Phil. You got it, man. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Why don't you do what you do when you did what you did? So good it filled up all my needs. You've been listening to the real estate king of South Florida, Philip Simonetta, PA. The real estate king can be heard every Tuesday from 7 to 8 p.m. on SoFloRadio.com. To find out more about the Simonetta Group of Charles Ruttenberg Realty, visit AgentOfLuxury.com and learn more about the Real Estate King Coaching Program. Visit RealtorMarketingCoach.com.